How are you guys doing? Um, I just wanted to say hi. I haven't made as many videos as I wanted to this week. So um, I have to go back out and finish cleaning out my van because it's getting salvaged tomorrow morning. But I just want to check in real quick and just say hi. And I thought it was funny. I was coming down the steps just now and I tripped. I think I was probably paying attention to something else and I fell a couple steps down onto the landing. Um, the second I tripped, I immediately knew what was happening and I kind of maneuvered my body to try to make the impact as, as not clumsy as possible. And the only thing that hurt was I ended up hitting my elbow on this big uh, um, conga drum, this big like two and a half feet high conga drum that was sitting in the corner of the landing waiting for someone to move it. Um, so I ended up hitting my elbow on a metal part of that. Um, but other than that, I landed in this weird sitting position and within a split second, I was like, uh, I'm fine. And I got up. And I thought it was weird because I have this ability to fall really well since I was a little kid. Like I've been I I've been thrown over the handlebars of my bike when I was a kid. I landed in a push-up position. I've fallen down steps a lot of times and I always just kinda kinda what cats do, they like just stretch out their body to lessen the impact. Um the only time I, I uh actually ever lost control was one time I slipped on ice and I went, my legs went up in the air and I, um, I was trying to juggle my backpack in the air. So I didn't pay attention to how I was going to land. So that was one time I landed really bad and broke a let, broke an ankle for a, a little while. But, um, why am I telling you all this? <laughs> um, I joke sometimes that I have the superpower of falling well. Um, I think there's a little more to it than that. I think there's some kind of weird something or other. I got in a, one, my, one of my own few fist fights when I was 12. This kid just kept coming at me and I did not want to fight him. I thought it was stupid, but finally, uh, we just started and he started swinging at me. And as long as I paid attention to him, I, he, he couldn't land a hit. Like he's swinging wildly. And I was like, ducking and dodging, not thinking about it. It was just, it was fairly weird how easily it came to me. A couple of times I was in an accident, like I was in a car accident, almost in a car accident once. And I was in a, one time this, I witnessed an accident and one of the cars, um, after hitting the other car, it turned towards the sidewalk and the guy lost control of it and it jumped up over the sidewalk, came towards me and my, where my friends were sitting on the curb. And it all happened in slow motion. Like everything slowed down. I just saw it like a movie. Like I literally saw the shards of glass flying in the air in really slow motion and we all got up and ran and the car didn't hit us or anything but something about like either stuff slows down or it just I don't know what it is but um why do I say that um there is this every I think all of us have these abilities that are way beyond what we realize and it doesn't matter how old you are i really if you're all the way up to 100 i don't know if anybody listening to this channel is over 100 but that's a superpower right there but if you're under 100 whatever your age whatever your situation whether you're sick whether you're healthy i think we all have mental emotional physical superpowers that we don't know about and i think the reason why uh, we gravitate so much to, well, us kids at heart, <laughs> especially the guys gravitate to superhero movies and comic books and stuff. But but um, in general, we always tend to gravitate to superhuman protagonists, even if they're not supernaturally human. If they just have a cut above the rest abilities, uh, just maybe in just in being kind to others or seeing things with more wisdom. And I think we're all drawn to those because we all have them. I think we all have um, incredible powers and probably most of us, I think, have more than one. And I, I, I kind of am beyond thinking. I kind of am pretty sure of this. Uh, but 
most of us don't realize them. We don't develop them. They stay latent. Um, and one of my favorite movies is, I think it's called 13 Blocks. It's one of my favorite movies and I can't think of the exact name, but I think it's called 13 Blocks. If I Google that, it'll tell me if that's right or not because that's close enough. But it's a uh, Bruce Willis and, um, and this rapper who plays uh, a younger kid um, in the movie. And but basically, it's this Bruce Willis plays this washed up cop who is an alcoholic and a, a mess and he's getting close to retirement and he you find out later in the movie that he's tied up in some corruption and he's just super depressed and he has nothing going on in his life he I think he divorced earlier on in his backstory and he's just just lives for nothing but to drown himself in the bottle and forget where he is but he still shows up to work and he ends up having to take this shift overnight because somebody else can't take it. And he's like, whatever, I'll just sit here in this empty police station and just drink myself into oblivion. And all the other cops are like, he's going to be retired soon. So they don't even care to report it. They, You know, whatever. And, and he ends up uh, at the last minute, he gets this call where he has to transport this prisoner. And long story short, the prisoner turns out to be a very important key witness and bringing down a whole bunch of very important people. And so they try to kill, they try to assassinate, I guess, kill the witness while Bruce Willis is trying to transfer him. And at the last second, he realizes what's happening and he defends the kid. And then he realizes it goes way deeper and he realizes that a lot of people are trying to kill this kid. And suddenly... He stops being the drunk, hopeless, oblivious person who has nothing left to live for at 62 or whatever. And he becomes the person who cares about nothing in this life but keeping this young man alive. And that's when you see that the, he's a freaking amazing cop. He is an amazing human being. He has incredible instincts. He has incredible strategy abilities like he has all these all these like uh left behind talents come to the surface and um i think we're all that way some people are lucky enough to get something to shake them out of their apathy and they start finding what they are some people know what they are and they need to work on it and they're not and they wish they would get some kick in the butt to start working on their um, what their abilities are. But you know something. There's something most of you already suspect that you might be. And it's usually something you enjoy. It's something you gravitate towards. There's something you're a little bit better at than the average person. And it might just be seeing the good in others. That sounds trite and, you know, like a Hallmark card, but it it could be mean the difference between life and death for people who are, you know, struggling or coming towards the end of, of, uh, hope. Uh, it could mean, it could be, you could be better at organizing. You could be better at helping people with tasks. You could be better at helping other people achieve. You could be better at a million different things. You could be better at taxes. Um, I marvel at people that are good at paperwork and detail oriented, stuff research these are all things that i am not naturally good at i mean i it, there it's painful for me to even think about having to do some of these things so i i rely on others heavily um but uh there's so many out there there's so many different talents and uh but i i believe they're more than talents i believe if you can exercise them and really bring them out and push them further and further and further, they would shock some people to the point where they would think you're, you're like a superhero. And uh, the difference between being like a superhero and actually being one, that's, that's a pretty thin difference. So you out there tonight thinking that, oh, woe is me. You know, a lot of things are going wrong. This has not been a good week. This has not been a good day or just feeling kind of eh, 
needing motivation. Just, you know what it is. That thing that you're not, you suspect and maybe you're like, no, nah, it can't be that. But that would be cool if it was. I bet you have some superpowers in there that you're not tapping into or you're not developing or you're not realizing. And as long as you have breath in your lungs, the world needs you to find them and start exercising them. We all need you. Everybody around you needs you to do it. And you will not be as happy as you possibly could be till you're doing what you were tasked to do. So I'm gonna go finish cleaning out my van, which I hate doing. And you guys, maybe I'll fall a couple times on the way down, down the rainy steps and just exercise my powers of falling without getting hurt. And you guys go and um, think about what your superpowers are. And if you uh, want to leave anything in the comments, go ahead. But otherwise, you guys have an awesome night or day, depending on where you are. See you soon.